there's from, enough there's enough quality to charge yeah. but a hundred to get people through yeah I feel like once you get that I mean we got enough I already things. feel like y'all are like established Facts to tell the truth, y'all ain't done enough. Facts, a lot of pressure to be one of us. Facts, gonna have to settle for that runner up. Yeah. Okay, okay, fine, 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 fine. Welcome, 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 welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. We got another episode. Elijah Craig's in the building. For one, let's get the Elijah Craig. That's that bottle right there. Everybody's happy. Illegal. <laughs> Illegal, how you feeling? It's another yeah. good day to be alive, man. Okay, off straight off the bat, we got a guest in the building. Enough. It's not often we get fellow podcast creators. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. Yeah, well, we I feel like I dabbled and I got my feet. You, got, you have a you show? Dabbled. You got a show? Yeah, Coming soon. And you yeah. made a post today? Yes. You got a show. I got a show. You got a show. I got a show. On the you in the fold. You in the I'm fold. in the fold. And I'm glad you did that because I was like, man, this guy didn't hit me back. I was like, let me check. I texted the wrong number. I had an S at the end of his number. Yo, like, Yo I'm bugging. Bro, that's crazy. That's crazy. I was like, I'm bugging. I was, I was thinking like, <laughs> now that, since you said that, I was like, Yo, am I still doing this episode tonight? It was like three, four. I hit my girl. I was like, I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm doing the episode tonight. I haven't heard anything from <laughs> Banks or he. Oh, like, what's going on? And then that's when he texted me. He texted me after that, like an hour after that. I was like, I was like Yo, I got the wrong. I didn't know who it was. I was like, yo. I was like, I was like, man. I, I started to answer back. He was like, yo, who is this again? I was like, I was like that. Dang. It's like, nah. It's it was like a, that. It was no disrespect check. at all. You check. It wasn't no disrespect. I, who's, who's randomly texting your phone? What an address? Nah, <laughs> because like so many people text me. Hold I, on, you sent. The address he said, said, said confirmed. Hold up, bro. Hold up, hold up. Nah, nah, nah. Now I gotta bust out the receipts. Bust out the receipts. Is your old seminar address? Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is this is the <laughs> message <laughs> I got from Bank. What's the initial message though? Yo, my fault. I sent everything to the wrong number. <laughs> Sends me the address. I copied and pasted the number and had an S at the end of it. My bad. From that message, imagine you never got a message from this person. <laughs> And they send you this, and you're in the mix of it, and you're like, in the moment, I'm like, yo, maybe this is like, this it's a it's a local number, so I'm not really like. This was like yeah, the, the Disney moment, you yeah. Know, when people are like, yo, what number is this? I'm trying to figure it out, and I don't have it saved. This address and go to what? <laughs> so I can see what why like I can see how you feel because my response was not sure who this is. Oh. Then he said it's Banks, and I was like, bet I'm Disney. there. But as, as soon as he said his name, I was like, bet, I'm there. The car will be around to pick you up soon. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. It's a lot of things that happened in Delaware. Yeah, I mean, but we're here. Hey, man. We're here. I'm glad because I'm, we were, since we were all at Ashley's party. Yeah. You know? Not at the same time. Not, or were we? What, or Might have been. been. I was in out. You never know. I mean, when did you show up? I had a blue shirt on. Saw somebody in over blue. That was me. I feel like I wore I wore a white and blue shirt. I don't mean you guys, you guys, because I remember seeing Banks and then I. Re- as soon as I, I walked in though, you was already on the table, so mm-hmm. I, I seen you and dapped right. you up. Yeah, but uh, I don't think Banks must have must have just yeah, he was in and out in between because he came back twice. No, actually, you know what? You said you just missed him. Yep. Yeah. You said I you came back twice. Him. He came back twice. Yep. But I was Man. asking, and I said, the block. "Here's here's where the love is at." I said, "Yo, um, I'm trying to come on y'all podcast. Where's Banks at?" And he said, um, "He was like, yo, we're booked until X, Y, and Z. Go on there, and I'm gonna move you up. I'm gonna move you up." And I was like, uh, "Bet." I was like, "I'm gonna go on there tonight." So I did. I didn't go on there the same night. I went on there the next day, and then boom. I'm sorry to all the other people that you know. <laughs> But my man, you know what I mean? But that's how that, that's how that show went. love, you get love back. You really? know what I mean? I mean, not that you ever show no love, you know what I mean? But, you know, you know what I do you see you in the street. You know? I mean, I don't see anybody in the street. So. I'll be out in the street. Yeah, I don't be out in the street. Like that. Banks usually tells me, like, like I told him, but he doesn't really tell me until like day of or the day before. Like, oh, yeah, we got this. X, one. Y, and Z, I just know that, you right. know, Tuesday, you know, we're shooting. Right. Wow. Yeah, two yeah. days before. Yeah, as long as you know we are shooting. Yeah. 
Yeah. As long as you know we are shooting. Yeah, that's that's usually the case. Yeah. yeah. And that's what I'm saying. That's why I feel like y'all are always shooting. I always see you post stuff. I always see, you know, reels. That's why I said, like, you get in love. You get in love. You might not see it, but you're getting love. People are, they want to be here. How do you feel about that? I don't really feel much of anything. Because you, you just, you just, you just like. Is that bad? Why do you feel that way? Why, why do so I feel that way? He's so numb. He doesn't even know joy. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you feel that way? Yeah, man. I grew up in the nineties. Okay. Okay. No, I grew up in the nineties. He's just he's just so no no no. Attitude era, buddy. No, 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 That's what yeah. it is. No, no. Your, our nineties is just a tad different. Tad different. Music. Just a tad different. We got to see their nineties. Okay, okay. Respect. We didn't get to live. We didn't get to live. But we did get to see it. We, did, we definitely got to see it. Yeah. We definitely... What was you doing in the nineties? A lot of, lot of soccer. Okay. A lot of soccer. A lot of sleepovers. Okay. Baseball. You know, a lot of sleepovers. Yeah. A lot of Cub Scouts. Okay. Cub that, Scouts. That's enough right there to mess you up. Yeah. Taught you racism right there. Dang. <laughs> Taught see, you racism right there. You I'm... can't sleep in our tent, coon. <laughs> that teaches you a lot right there. You got treated that. That bad. Where are you from? They didn't say coon, but it was one of the things said. I'm, I'm actually being kind. I felt I'm it. being kind. You know what I mean? No, I I'm being it. kind. It was a lot harder than that. It was a lot of N- ends with hard R's. They was using the hard R. Mm-hmm. The 90s was different. Yeah. Had to be. Out there in the woods. Yeah, ain't no cell phones. There's no cell phones no now. Cell phones. So, what, so at what phones. age were you in the Cub Scouts? So it was like maybe four, ten. Before, so I, was ten. Like Before I was ten. Before you were ten, Before and they were using the hard R. They probably heard it from their parents. They didn't know any better. Wow. I don't knock them. What is that like ninety six? Because the crazy wow. thing is, I actually became friends with those guys later. They didn't. They didn't. I, y'all didn't know any better. You, right. you were like you were eight. You ain't know it better. Heard your dad say it when he was mad at the TV. <laughs> you know what I mean, that's pretty much what it is. <laughs> like dad going guard D up Michael Jordan, man. You dumb niggas, you can't play. Oh game. my gosh. Yeah. Oh, that's probably what happened. So, I mean, also, I will say, I just seen this. Uh, my boy showed me this ad on Nickelodeon from the 90s and it was Nick or Treat but when they mm-hmm. were saying it mm-hmm. they were it was they were saying it so fast it was like Nick or Treat Nick or Treat <laughs> but this is on Nickelodeon Nick or Treat like, Nick or Treat bro and I'm just like who let this fly but you know what who cleared they that they did it on purpose that's how because the same way you caught it they have so, a whole they have advertisement teams and everybody. Somebody yeah, was probably everybody like, hey. Whole, hold on, yeah. play that again. No, what you're going to do? Hey, hey, what you're going to do? Hey, we're saying, all, the we're producer, saying Nick. The, actual, the mixer actually put it together. He was like, hold on, look at Drake, look at Drake, look at Drake. <laughs> oh, this shit is fire. Bro, <laughs> I'm telling you, I've seen that and I was like, yo, the 90s definitely were different, but that's crazy. You're catching the, the hard ERs at 10 from your peers. <laughs> Why were you in the Cub Scouts? That's my mother. But that's but that's the '90s, man. Yeah. That's the different. I mean, you know, back then moms want you in everything. Yeah. You're, yeah. you're, you're going to do something. Yeah. You're going to do something. You ain't going to sit suburban. around He's and do nothing. Okay. You know, not, Where are you from originally? You're not, Here. You're not poor, oh, okay. but you're not rich. You right. Know, you're not poor. He in the suburbs. In the suburbs. Yeah. yeah. Comfortable living. Very, very good childhood. Regardless of the, you know, the niggers and. You know, coons and porch monkeys. <laughs> it was it was still a good childhood. You know, I enjoyed every day of it. Right, a great time. I, like I said, social. It's just you look at it, what you grew up on versus what the run up now. It's just a completely different. Totally time. different. It's I can completely agree different. Like yo, we really had to go outside. Yep, had to ring doorbells. Bro, had to ring doorbells. We was playing ding dong ditch, it or uh, Nick or knock knocking. Y'all remember that? I'm gonna say nigger knocking. That's what it was. That's what it was. Right? And uh, you know, we was doing all of that stuff. We was doing all of that stuff. I had pine cone wars <laughs> as a as a young Dude, that's, that's, adolescent. That's late. Have you ever had a pine cone war? No, I ain't throwing no pine cones. Yeah, we didn't have. We had pine cones. We, we had dodgeballs. Yeah. Bro, we would load up. We pine- had paintballs. Oh yeah, yeah. See. That sounds fun. That era was crazy. That Paint sounds Paintball era was crazy. Yeah. It was fun, though. It was fun. Yeah. That, see, that was fun to me. We had dirt clog wars. And I'm talking big chunks of dirt clogs. And you're just finding one that looks like a, 
you know, a brick. And you're just chucking it. And it would just explode Whoa. and be dirt. See, that's the dangerous, like, late to yeah, yeah, That's bro, the bro. dangerous. But we, sometimes you would catch a rock in there. Bro, that's the dangerous. I mean, I know what he's, exactly what you're talking about. And then when we had our pine Shit. cone wars, we would gather the greenest pine cones, the ones that are not, like. Red, the, not the dark. The ones that aren't ready to right. fall off the tree, the ones that are just born. So they're, like, hard. Okay. So you did a hard. You're trying to injure each Bro, other. Bro, we're trying to injure, injure each other. See, just reckless crazy. young kids, but it made us tough. We used to play know? manhunt. Okay. We did manhunt too. We played like, manhunt. Some of us in the group played hide and go get it. Whoa. Oh. Surprise. Sweet. To us all. I think the closest that we've ever got to in my in my generation to hide and go get it was seven minutes in heaven. Seven minutes in heaven. I wasn't that social. At a party. That I, wasn't that, I wasn't that social. I wasn't that social. Go to a party. I, I didn't go to any party. So Yo, the, as soon as I walked in here, he was like, I don't go out. I don't go out yeah. like that. Yeah, man. Yeah. So what's next? Nah, man. What's next with you? You got your own show. You ain't told us nothing about it yet. Um, So I got a podcast coming soon with my boy, Mark. Mark is a talented individual with a like mind. That's my brother. You know what I mean? We had we had some times where, you know, things were a little bit rough. You know what I mean? He lived all the way in Pennsylvania. I lived down here. We had, you know, that that distance. It's hard to keep up with everybody. Right? You know. It's hard to keep up with everybody. But that's a really good friend of mine. We got a podcast coming soon. Um, I'm excited about it. We had this idea four years ago. And it's just now coming back to life um, because he comes down to Delaware every Sunday. So it just makes sense for us to, you know, continue on. We make music together. We just dropped the song. Uh, we made it. That's a good song. I wrote a verse. I've been writing music with, man, I've been, I've been going in, man. I got songs with Cypher Click, Features. I'm pretty sure y'all know who they are. Um, yeah, man. I got features with God Bless Dose. Shout yeah, out to my boy Dose. Dose. Yeah, Homebody coming soon. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to drop that. That's my boy, Dude. but he's hype about it. So, yeah, I got features with him. Um, and just pretty much everything. I'm, I'm ready to get back into, um, you know, working on making that social media presence. I want to make money from it. Uh, just like everybody else. You don't want to make I money. Feel, I feel like... Oh, that's so that's just the nature of the game you know what i mean it's becoming very very easy when you're consistent so if i i bring that energy back uh i feel like i know i'm gonna I'm a put effort into what i'm doing um i did have a point where i fell off from podcasting because i wasn't in the right mental space i was doing it for the wrong reasons i wasn't really um you know doing it for me and that's what I'm going to do on this next podcast with my bro. It's more like, you know, brother to brother. We just talking about everything, current events, uh, situations, relationships, everything. Everything under the sun. That's what it's about. People love to talk. I love to talk. I feel good about it. And uh, yeah, so I'm excited about that. Not going to give you all the name yet because we're going to do a poll. We do have a couple ideas. So we'll throw that poll out there. And we'll just let the people vote on it. No, no. Tell us what it is so we can steal it. All right. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what it is. All right. I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to fall for that. It's well, going to be a poll. Well, the, speaking of current events, uh, Sierra. Oh, in that dress? You letting her outside? No. You tell her no? No. No. Come on. You tell you, you tell you, tell you like, no. When you're Russell when you, Wilson's wife, no. Sierra, Sierra, though. No, no. You gave that up when you started talking about. She's not, Sierra's prayer. She's not Sierra Wilson. That's not what I call her. I call her Sierra. This, this is oh, man. Listen, at the, it was no she need. Was, it was, she's Sierra. It was, it was at the Oscars, right? Was at the Oscars, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. There no. Was no need for it, that. Oh, was fact it, check, fact check, was fact it at check. The was it at the Oscars? Was it? What because was it? I was seen it? something on Facebook where that was the theme of whatever event that they were attending. Yeah. There was multiple women mm -hmm. dressed. In that's true too. That's true too. Uh, yeah. You know, lingerie, see-through dresses. But at the, the same shoe. time, why do a bunch of wives want to wear see-through? I think it was Vanity Fair. Nah, okay. man. This bottom line, no. I'm gonna have to say you no. Know Vanity's I'm gonna say no. I feel like Next. celebrities are different, though. 
I feel like you can wear certain things, but the see through is kind of like nah. And, and for and to be fair, like I'm not gonna be cool with it if Rihanna did it. It's not just a Sierra thing. It's like nah, don't wear mesh. Like she was even Rihanna had that uh that see through drawn on one though. Yes, that's come on. Just I feel a like too much. Just a little bit. Easy, you can ease it up. Te- celebrities are different though. They live in a different world. They do. They all sleep with each other. My, I, f- I feel like average women, average wives, they're not going to any parties like that on a regular basis. But that's the thing. The average wife, I don't know, but the, the low, the the not in that, not the millionaire wives, right, are going to look at that and be like, "Well, we can do it too." And then you walk around Dover, all of a sudden you just see somebody in a mess shirt. Like, what are you doing? It has an influence. I'm on popping. Me. I'm popping. You hating on me? Like, you know, put some clothes on. <laughs> put some clothes on. You asking for trouble? That's my main thing. We were, if we were in, like I said, we were, if we were in LA. Probably okay, cause everybody. LeBron's wife it. wasn't there. Hmm? LeBron's wife wasn't there. No, cause you know why? Why? Cause she got some daggone sense. <laughs> she got some sense. She don't want to show all the goods. You gonna make LeBron look bad? There it is. You're gonna make your husband look bad. Well, she, Russell she, Wilson did look was, a little bit upset. He did. He, looked he like was a, not happy to be next to his wife wearing see-through clothes. He should have known who he married, and that's probably. I think he did. Is, I don't know where that came from. Sierra's been on her best behavior for a while now. Exactly. Yeah. So when, especially when Megan Good got single, mm. oh, mm. she the worst. Single, husband. single. When she got single, right? She knew the game when she was married. Her man was like a die-hard religious guy, right? He's a preacher. He's a preacher. Yeah, preacher. And she was fucking people on on TV. No, she got she ate some ass on TV. Taking what I want. He wanted something else. Thing yeah, like yeah, it, it was crazy. And then that virtually set up their whole entire breakup. I'm pretty sure. Like, I mean, months yeah, after, you, like, you, you got to draw a line. Like you can't, after, you got to draw a line, bro. You can't be. He probably said you can't be. And she continued her. Like, yeah, she. You can't be eating ass on TV. Definitely. You can't be eating ass on TV. How you eating ass <laughs> and your husband preaching? Like, come on, man. And it's not even your husband's ass you're eating. I'm if Megan, you're into that, I'm Megan Good, nigga. That's different. I'm Megan Good. That's different. That's not I'm good on enough. walls on, of every nigga under. What does that mean? You're gonna throw away. You're gonna throw away in marriage for to eat some ass on yeah, TV. That's crazy. That's crazy. Talk. Well, for a 30 second screenshot, like a, a screen time, you're gonna throw a whole marriage away for that? It's crazy. You yeah, already, like he, you said, she was already, getting, ma- she was already making good. How much was she getting paid for that? You don't scene, know. Though? But it doesn't Nobody matter. Knows. She's and already. She probably good. has to get on one knee every time to ask for money from the preacher. But since she's not bringing in any money, she probably has to get on both knees and pray. Yeah, that's true too. He money. might be a monster. On the <laughs> we don't know. So, has she been in any recent movies that are uh, Monster Hunter? She has. If I remember right, Monster. Hunter. Hunter. She got her own TV and show. She's in. Um, she's a TV show. And she's in Shazam. Coming, yeah. That's coming out. And yeah. she's got her uh, TV show. Um, Whatever it is, where she would eat ass if it ain't canceled. That's no, crazy. she has her second season too. So that's she got instantly lit. Wow. From eating ass. See what happens when you do, like uh, degrade yourself. Yeah. yeah. See what happens. Well, You're an instant celebrity. Hollywood is evil. Yeah. Well, why couldn't he just bite the bullet? <laughs> Shut up, man. You're not gonna keep talking to me like that, dog. Like, what are you talking about? That's the thing. Everybody wants to bite the bullet. Like, the hell with that. No. His that wife is making up. good. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah. What are you saying? Yeah. Biting the bullet is not. You tripping? That should be. Okay. Yeah, nah. Like, yo, bro, you're not going to respect yourself. You don't think Denzel? Listen. Is you don't think people? Carmelo Anthony's right now? Like, I'm glad I'm getting divorced. La La Anthony takes her clothes off in every single role she's in. He's probably like, I'm glad I'm getting divorced. Mm. Dad, going every time I turn with your titties on TV, every single time, he's probably happy. Like, yo, I'm out. Thank yeah. goodness. At least I cheated in quiet. Your dad going down to HBO every time you turn around for no reason. I don't care what anybody says, Chucky. Nikki is good. Nikki is sweet. For no reason, it'd be like that. It's what gets the views. Yeah, you know you're really? watching for long. Sex like, sells forever. I'm not know, watching for long. Yo, yes. You're not watching for <laughs> Watching for the plot. Oh, <laughs> yo, I, I, oh, he's I, watching for the I'm going to say something that's probably going to sound crazy right now. I've never Still watched B- Power or BMF. B- Why? What? I just never watched I didn't it. really get into Power, but BMF is cool. And it's short, and it's, and it's a, a pretty true story. Uh, quick question: Go. If a guy dies stealing Cadillac converters, gets crushed alive, is that what he gets? Kinda. I mean, no, I guess no. Why? He set just, himself up for failure. Yeah, you set yourself up for failure. I mean, I'm not saying anybody deserved to die, but you were stealing and you were under a car that crush you. Well, that's, that's what. I feel that's like karma. 
I mean, or you should be more prepared. It's kind of idiotic. Idiotic. How do you? What are you doing to let a car crush? You? Should brought better bricks. I feel you like that sucker up better. If you die from getting crushed from a vehicle that you're stealing parts from, you're horrible at your job. Oh, as a, there you go. There you go. You be known as a successful car dealership. Hell yeah, you, you, you still there? Girl. Who? I don't remember this. I came in the one that gave me a mail. Like here you go. <laughs> me? That was years ago though. Yeah. Yo. Don't worry about it. It makes sense. I, I don't. Know I you. don't do that anymore. Yeah. It doesn't matter. <laughs> what? I don't do that anymore. That was yeah. years ago. Which which dealership though? Because I've been to three dealerships. The one by Capital Green. Capital Green. Ford. Yeah. Ford, Ford is right across from. Yeah. The green. So yeah. yeah, I'm still there. Yeah. I left for a little bit. I left for like six months. Uh, started a business failed in that business mm. bad business partners and things and you know talk about inconsistency it. Oh, God. so oh, they, you know they, were they black yeah but <laughs> biracial but when you <laughs> but when you Are go we blaming the white side of him or the black side <laughs> i'm not blaming anybody i feel like i'm sorry i'm blaming myself for not doing my due diligence mm. so you didn't know them um not on a business mindset Knowing somebody as a person and knowing somebody on a business level, I feel like two totally different things. Cause I can I can be bros with a bad businessman. Yeah. So like, damn man, you're fucking up over there, but right. now you're fucking up with me. <laughs> and I, I think I'm learning that as I uh, so I have an investment group that I just started in January. We're going on, you know, the third month and we're putting together the team of investors and learning you know who to trust who's going to be on time who's going to take it seriously and who sees the bigger picture those are the things i'm learning so far with the investment. Um, there has been some people that i invited because i'm friends with them really really good friends with them and they don't see the vision they don't have the mindset or the capacity to understand you know how we should move as a group of black men to grow and be better and to learn from each other because the investment group to me is not about just money it's about your mental health it's about your everyday life you know just like bringing something to the table um, with everybody that I'm in so that's just something that I you know, just to go on with that business venue. I'm, I'm doing it differently this time. Hmm. You know, hmm. I'm, I'm really trying to figure it out. I'm really trying to learn, you know, who's who. Hmm. Yeah. But yeah. Good yeah. point. Because, you know what? Where's Andrew? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, did I not say, oh, Andrew, coming tonight? See, it's just no I, response. Is, uh, see, where's and Andrew? This is, and this is where, even when I deal with, I'm not the same thing with this all the time, but I often have to remind people. People are not you. Yeah. People aren't you. Yeah. Stop expecting you out of people. That's strong. You know, and and know the people you're around. Yep. Yep. If they're your friends, cool. Accept them. Put them in the friend circle you need to put. Them. Right. There is no. I mean, if it really brings that much negativity to your life, you gotta go. But if you know how to categorize people, some people just don't like to put people. In just places that you know why because bro is norm is the norm it's true bro is the norm but it should be and it still should be every day okay and, and although it might have failed yeah it shouldn't change the next bro's opportunities because you never know doors open doors close that's right what, that's how like, very true very so. true that's at least my old business partner. We're no longer friends. Well, bet I didn't say yeah. Like I said, I'm all it, for that. Well, Cut them off. Well, like I said, if it's, Cut if them it's off. so much bad energy, the obviously. Cut them off. No, no, but it's not bad energy. Normalize cutting it's just, people off. It's just uh, and it's crazy because I I actually reached out to him. Oh, you know. No, see, but that's what I'm saying. Out of his, out of he died. Then he died. Weeks from now, and he would be at his funeral. No, like, damn. no, Rocky yeah. Ford. Would he, would, we'll see. That's no, the whole point. I still Rocky just because just that's because what, we're not that's my friends. Whole point. And that's my whole point. Negative. Doesn't mean I don't care. About negative. That's my, negative. That's my whole point. Negative. My whole is point that a wrong negative. way to look at we, that? We Rocky Four and everything. Be. If he dies, he dies. If we're done, we're done. If 
you die, you're dead. Wow. I'm gonna make the same jokes I was making before you die. Good riddance. I'm not coming to your funeral. Hey, why did you go to <laughs> that nigga? <laughs> Piss on his grave. See, I can't, I can't say all that. I can. That I don't see it like that. I see it as things fizzle out, you know. Then he's dead. They, they don't die. They're still alive. They're still doing things. Look, Are they? All I know is, if you're gonna go to the person's funeral, you probably should be friends. Right. And that's, and that's just point blank. Period. I don't regret and that's a single thing. Period. I mean, you don't necessarily have to keep beating them in your life. Like, you know, but put them in your friend's see, and that's, circle see, to where... Why? When you were talking about the categorizing your friends or your the social people, yeah, right? Or you end up not liking anybody in your Ex social... You just excluding explain, everything explain this to me. You just put <laughs> yourself it, in a if, box. If we, you're my the, friend, you're my friend. If you're not, you're not. There is no compartmentalizing anything. It can be a mutual nope. acknowledgement. Nah. No. Well, see, either you're is, with me. Where, this is where Banks is. Either you're, hard friendship. Either you're with me friendship is or you're not. not. Right. It's that simple. How many friends you got? Two, two, five, four. Four. Okay. Respect. Four. I, I only asked you that because with he the way that you. <laughs> did you kill him or did he die? <laughs> yeah, man. Right, man. So we got. Bad friends, we got new cars, we got the new show coming out. What's next? You got the show, you're working on it. Where do you see yourself going with it? Uh, Besides I, making money, I know you want to make money off it like everybody else, but what what kind of audience? Wait, like, what's your what's your content about? Like, what kind of audience are you hoping to hit? I am hoping to, you know, just build a community of brothers that just want to have you know conversations mm. about sometimes things that we don't have conversations about as men you know deep conversations mental health conversations I feel like that is a very very um, you know important how did you grow up are there any traumas that you have how can we unfold them together? There's, I mean, there's, I mean, I have a friend of 15 to 20 years that over the, I mean, last year, we had just had a conversation and this is bro, bro, like 10 to 20 years, I'm only 28. <laughs> that's damn, you know what I mean? That's a damn long time. That's a long damn time. Yeah, so it's like, I just learned about his childhood and we grew up in the same neighborhood. I didn't know he was going through what he was going through. He didn't know I was going through what I was going through. But to uh, finally learn that, how many of, of your friends do you have that you don't really know about them? You don't really know about them. All you know is who they showed you to be throughout your high school years, college years, in adult life but what what are what are some of their traumas that they haven't discussed how can you heal that's kind of where i'm at this is learning just being more open that's what's up having an open dialect <laughs> about things like that that's what's good. up yeah that's good that's what's up because banks okay. totally opposite i don't care <laughs> deal with your deal with your own stuff my nigga i gotta deal with mine you deal with yours i feel you but <laughs> that's the audience that i want to bring bet somebody has to do it like yeah said, somebody has to do it yep yeah. Somebody should do it. Somebody has to. Yep. So that's kind of what I want to do with that. I'm really excited about the music that I've been working on. So that's you, crazy. Just on other people's stuff, or you got your own stuff. I got my own album coming out too. That's crazy. Building that, I got about 15 songs. That's that, crazy. That I feel like I want to release like six of them as singles, five or six of them as singles. That's crazy. This is wild. That's great. And then drop the album. And the album not gonna be too long. That's wild. That's crazy. But yeah, man. Say that. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say it. Yeah, I've been working a lot, bro. You got any music videos coming out? Music videos. Any I'm gonna videos? be in a music video. Cypher Clicks. The new one I just did. Nah, I'm not gonna be in that one. Okay. Um, my first video that I am gonna shoot, I'm gonna have a girl in it. I talked to her about that. Who I'm shooting? excited about Who's that. Shooting it? Who's shooting it? Um. Bugsy Optics. Shout out to Bugsy. Shout out to Bugsy. My man, man I'm Bugs definitely. Optics. I just ran into Bugs. Yeah. Uh, where did I run into? Where were we? 
I did sound for a for RF. Okay. And a 13 year old birthday party. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely get Bugsy to shoot my first music video. We're the only seeing once a blue moon. Shut up the bug, bro. Yeah. But um, yeah. Side and stuff, man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm amazed. When you said that, I'm like, damn, music, the music, bro. Okay. Bro. The music, why not? We were on Kiss 101.7. Like, I was on Kiss 101.7 hey, before man. they died twice. Hey. That's a big thing in Delaware. Yeah, you know what I mean? Man. So yeah, I'm excited about that. That's what's up. But yeah. Shit, I'm going to uh, Dreamville. Dreamville Fest? Mm-hmm. That's going to be love. Mm-hmm. I couldn't get off of work twice in one month the way that I am. I am. I'm in a wedding in April, mm. uh, the end of April. So I'll be going to Florida, mm. Orlando, Florida for a whole week. Uh, and Orlando's great too. Yeah. Mm. Can't take a Saturday off and then take a whole week off after, you know. You know how corporate America is. They don't want you taking too See, much man, time. Having the, too much fun. This is the struggle I have with my girl right now. No wonder now. It's it, different, bro. It's good. It is, it is, it is consistent. That's why you got to hit a parlay so you can get up out of there. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you got to hit a parlay. You know I got them stacked yeah. up all season yeah, long, man. man. Yeah, Shit, man. It's, it's 72 weeks of basketball, right? <laughs> Something crazy like that, so... All you gotta do is get lucky one good time. Look, and you're gonna get out the hood. Look, man. It happens all the time. It happens all the time. Somebody's gotta win. Somebody's gotta win. And you gotta play to win. That's it. I tell her all the time. Bruh. Play to win. I was just talking to a co worker of mine today, and he was like, Why you have a 17 leg parlay? <laughs> Why don't you do six? Because cause it ain't enough. <laughs> it ain't enough. <laughs> If I'm gonna get lucky, I wanna get lucky on this 17 Bruh, leg, remember, not this six leg parlay. I, I want a $11.3 parlay football. That shit was magical. I hit for nine grand. I hit for, that was like 45. Yeah, I, hit for, I, I hit for nine grand last year on $20. I had my boy Elam put a bet in for, for me. Mm. He lived in Philly. And that's what's when it wasn't available in Maryland yet. Mm. Now I just go to the state line and you know put my own bets in. But um, yeah, I had him put a, a parlay in for me and twenty dollars. I was sitting on the edge of the bed watching the Green Bay Packers versus the Bears, and Aaron Rodgers just he got that touchdown in the fourth quarter and told whoever I own you. I know you remember that, mm. and I was just like, damn, I just won nine grand. Thank you. Man. This is crazy. I'm gonna buy something stupid tomorrow. Yeah, it's good yeah, thing. yeah, it was. It was a great thing. But yeah, man. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Straight up. Get rich, get lucky. Do you have any business ventures that you're trying to? Not anymore, no. 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 So what are you, what is your? Do you have any uh, plans over the next five years? I'm just I'm entering my petty years. I want revenge. Who do you want revenge on? He feel, feels like Michael B. Jordan when they called him corny all the time. I want revenge. I want a revenge. That's exactly how he feels. You know, we were at, uh, <laughs> I want revenge on anybody who disrespects me. <laughs> who's, who's disrespecting you? All of them. All of them. You got to get it. I need my revenge now. Wow. Disrespecting me. Wow. I'm not going to do anything because I don't want to be. <laughs> but, but, still, but mentally. But still. But mentally. <laughs> that, that'll be the feel. It's but feel, mentally. It's feel mentally. Right. It's feeling the uh, jet. Wow. Yeah, man, I feel like uh, illegal. I've known you for quite a while. I remember going to your grandma's house at like, I was in the ninth grade, I think. Well, my mother's house, Jamie's grandmother. Jamie's grandmom's, your mom's house. Okay, respect. I need revenge on her too. On, on Revenge Jamie's. on grandma. Why? <laughs> revenge. I'm just messing with you, man. I need, I need, I need that. <laughs> <laughs> What was the energy when you when I walked in here? How'd you feel? It's different because I already knew who you were, even though you didn't acknowledge me like you knew where I was. I've been around enough. Been around Jamie and them enough years. I've seen you around. Right. You know what I mean? I went in your job. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah you're good. I, I'm I pretty didn't, sure I, I didn't said, turn you around. I didn't I, turn I'm you away. I'm pretty sure I've said what's up to you even at my job. No. Nah, but I didn't turn you Never? away. Never? It's all right. You want so, revenge. Nah. Yeah, you want the revenge. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man, we're going to wrap this up. Uh... As always, you can find DJ Illegal at. You know where to find me. Go ahead and drop your at. Uh, at Malik Jamal Montgomery. 
podcast name? I'm is not there, giving y'all the podcast I mean, not name. name yet. Is that going to have a different at? Y'all ain't, y'all ain't uh, you're going to be able so to find the podcast right through Malik Jamal page. Montgomery. Cool. My cool. IG. That's where it's at. All right, man. And we're out. Awesome. Views now, look at the expansion. Mouthpiece random, I got my own anthem, a champion. Rocking more rings than the Mandarin. Imagine every new cash trying to take a sound, but they can never touch the crown, so we put it down. Cause who can really fill our shoes when we not around? We only niggas in the land like the hidden clout. And when we down and you clowns make a sound from the back. Well, if you smell blood and the waves and attack, cause soon as Spotify signs the line, it's a wrap. Now run and check your sources and fact check that. Need a talk to the town.